film them. Oh no, it's not. I got some fruit. I'm just gonna shower, kinda. I've been on the shower for a minute. I'm gonna do my makeup really quick. It's 11.21. I need to be out of the house at noon. And I'm just gonna vlog my day. I'm going to an event for Benefit. And I've never been to a Benefit event and they always look really cool. So I'm really excited. I'm also gonna meet Kaya there so you guys get to see Kaya. I feel like she's like that character that comes every couple episodes in my sitcom. That is like a fan favorite. I always love reading the comments when she's in videos. People are like, she reminds people of Emma Stone, which I absolutely see. Okay, you can watch me. <laughs> So I have everything on but mascara and I just got this in the mail yesterday. Very curious to see how it is. I feel like sometimes luxury brands, it's like very mediocre, but like since it's luxury, it's like hyped. But let's see, it might be good. I have the Dior mascara, which I love Dior show and I get it in brown, which is really nice. Um, I just kind of ran, it's like almost out, it's like drying out, like I could definitely throw it away. But this kind of goes against what I just said. This is luxury, but it's actually good, so. Let's see how this is. This packaging's nice. There's a lot of product on there. It doesn't go on with a lot of product, which is nice. There's the before and after. Obviously none on this. What do you think? I like it. It's dramatic. It's a little clumpy, but not in a bad way. It's nice. Like I feel like it's good for like going out. Like it's definitely not like a casual mascara to me. Like I like when I put this on, it's still like Looks like my lashes, like I could wear it with like no makeup, just like to wear running errands. This is a little dramatic, but it's pretty. It's good for what I'm doing today. All right, I think I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna go very like Canadian tuxedo, denim on denim. These jeans are, these are good American. And then this is my garlic shirt, literally all in rhinestones, I love it. And then I thrifted this, I think this is like Ralph Lauren. I think I got it like years ago. And then the white boots that I need to get rid of, but I won't because I can't find a pair that's like them. They're so comfortable. I can literally run miles. I've had them for years. Like every single music festival I go to, they've lasted through the weekend. Like they're perfect. They're just really old, <laughs> but they're such a staple. Ow. They're such a staple in my, um, wardrobe. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 11.41. 11.41. Enjoy I'm... the sunshine. Thank you. She said enjoy the sunshine. 20 minutes ahead schedule. I thought I was running really late. Before I go, we have a little sponsor for today's vlog. So this vlog is sponsored by Athletic Greens and a few months ago, you guys heard me talk about them and I wanna know if anybody ended up trying it. How do you feel? Cause there was a lot of comments saying like, is this actually good? Cause I want to try it. So let me know if you liked it, how you're feeling, if it like changed anything health wise, I'd love to hear your updates. Athletic Greens is a daily supplement that's filled with over 75 different ingredients. Vitamins, superfoods, probiotics, minerals. There's, there's so many things. I like to incorporate this into my day every day because then I feel like even if I don't eat the most healthy or if I'm not you know perfectly eating every meal to get all my nutrients I have a backup system because not every day are you eating a balanced meal. That's just not how life works. AG1 has vitamin C, zinc, and healing mushrooms that help support your immune system and I feel like I can never get enough of that. Especially nowadays, want to stay as healthy as possible. This is just a good like backup. I feel like there's a little army inside of me that's like if anybody tries to make me sick, like it's it's there for me. It also helps with your energy levels, gut issues, hormone function, muscle recovery from workouts. It's it's really just an all-in-one. So one scoop daily, all you need. And actually, somebody said to try it with coconut water. So let's see how this is. It says like eight to twelve ounces of water or whatever liquid you're using. I always like to do 12 because I figure more liquid, the more hydration I'm getting. Oh yeah, it's, oh my God, it's good with coconut water. Like this feels like I'd pay like nine to $12 at a juice spot. So if you guys wanna check out Athletic Greens, I'll link everything down below. Just use my link, athleticgreens.com slash Kristen McT and you'll get a free one year supply of vitamin D plus a little pack of these travel packets. I'm really bad at chugging things. Like, are you one of those people that can like open your throat? 
I always take a big gulp thinking like, oh, I'm gonna chug it. And then I like, my throat gets scared to chug and I, then my mouth's just like full with it. And then I have to like siphon it through my teeth. Like TMI. Okay, I need to go. I'm not invited to this event. <laughs> So imagine you, you would get invited by so like a soy sauce company. Hell yeah. Here with Kaya. Good morning. Look, it's Lightning McQueen. Ciao. Oh, you're I haven't done my brows in literal years, so I'm scared. Look at that hors d'oeuvre. <laughs> when we were walking out, in the like in the beginning, you saw where I grabbed that little mini. They also had these mirrors. Oh, there you are. I've always wanted one of these though, so I got one. Also, my brows. They're like, that's a little blockier than I usually go, but I like it. I just feel like I can't, like I need to practice trying to do that myself, but like, they look good. Oh my God, why is my nose running? I just had like a beet salad with tomatoes and cheese. There's no reason my nose should be running. Like you're balancing on a circle fan right now, so that's why you're wobbling. This is probably not gonna end well. Also look, so cute. Okay, so I have, a few hours till my meeting later i'm going to dinner talk about the podcast with like my manager and alex and our producer and whatnot so i need to clean my room i like half cleaned it yesterday and then i just was exhausted so i couldn't finish it so my bed's clean i just need to put my duvet cover on my comforter like that's what i did last night i half made my bed and i was like i don't even have the energy to put my duvet cover on i'm doing it tomorrow so I need to do that. I need to put away this laundry. This is all clean. I also have two more loads downstairs. Here's my thing. Nobody else with me. Let me hear it. People are like, why don't you just like do your laundry when your hamper's full? But I can't do that because when my hamper's full with laundry, yes, that's equivalent to one load, but those clothes have different washing standards. Colors, neutrals, blacks, and whites. That Those are the four loads that I do. So like I have to wait till literally all my clothes are done so that they each are a full load. So then I'm doing four full loads. Other, otherwise I feel like I'm wasting water doing these like tiny ass loads. So that's why this happens like once a month. I just get overwhelmed with all my laundry at once and then it's just, it's a vicious cycle. So I know I'm not alone, right? so many clothes especially before my move because I, I just know i'm not gonna have as much space so i think i'm going to list a lot of my clothes on poshmark and just kind of give them all a second chance to have a new home it's hard for me to get rid of clothes though i get very like emotionally attached to my clothes because like the memories i have in them or the memories that i associate with them that's why i like to do like poshmark or something just to give them like a second chance and i have so many hoodies and jackets literally this closet is just hoodies and jackets alone this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start small i'm gonna take five things out of my closet per day so i don't get overwhelmed with like all the memories i have with everything five things per day easy i already know the first one i wore it one time and i have a bad memory in it i do not need this thank you for your time but you do not serve me anymore never worn this I don't like the neckline on me, but it's really cute. It's also like, I have a long torso, so it's like a little too short on me. Never worn by Grimmy. <sighs> Never worn. Literally have only put this on my body to like try on with outfits, but I realize that I never like it on me. It's from ASOS as well. It's like furry, it's so cute. Okay, this I never wear either. Literally have never wore it once. It has like an open back though. 
It's really pretty. Like I love the cut. I love like the puffy sleeves. I just think it doesn't go with anything in my wardrobe. That was definitely something I did a period of time in my life is like I shopped for things I liked just like on the hanger, but I, I didn't think about what they would look like. This is cool too. Like you could also like double wrap it around. It's fucking hot, it's cute. Here's the thing though, like these jeans, God, if you have followed me since I even stepped foot on fucking social media, you know I've had these pants forever. They still fit, I love them. I don't wear them all the time, but like this is something where, like sure, I don't wear them all the time, so like if somebody else is in here, they'd be like, get rid of them. You, The rule, like you haven't worn them in three months. I feel like that's like a thing when people get rid of things. If you haven't used it for three months, get rid of it. But no, because what if, what if St. Patrick's Day, all green, boom, I have green pants. Like, sounds funny, but it's actually my, my thought process here. Like I need, I need these. As I'm putting them away with another pair of green pants I have, like who needs two pairs of green pants, but they're different greens. It makes me sad to get rid of these, but they just don't fit me anymore. But these are really cool. They're like custom, this girl like painted them. I got them at a flea market, like boot cut pant. Really cool. Thank you for your time. I've had many good memories in this, but you no longer serve me. I can honestly get rid of this hat too. Literally wore these one time in the street to take a picture. They're so cute, but I just don't wear them. Oh, oh actually this is an OOTN. Mm -mm. mm -mm. mm -mm. <laughs> oh, look how dirty my mirror is. This is embarrassing. I'm wearing Prada boots, jeans from Top Shop, no Zara. This shirt is from Aritzia, I think. And this bag is from ASOS. And this is from Amazon. Amazon. Uh, my jewelry is in Louisa. This is from Walmart. These are from Free People. Cute. Story, you should back tuck it. Mm. I guess not with the bag. No. Yeah. Um, and these are my trod and trues from Urban. Cute. Jewelry from Anna Louisa. Earrings from Studs. This is my mom's. And then this is my grandma's. R.I.P. We're just girl bossing right now. Alex is looking at applicants <laughs> that she's hiring at her job while we're on our way to a meeting about our multi-trillion dollar podcast. Too much. Just kidding, it's not that at all. <laughs> Literally not even close. It's not much, but it's honest work. Wanna say hi to my vlog? What it do? Mom, say hi! I'm home. If you guys ever use these makeup erasers, it's freshly cleaned. They're so good and they work so well. I've been looking for these jeans for so long. Oh my God. My Ted Lasso whistle is still, I just snorted. The dinner was so good. My stomach kind of hurts now. Ugh, my screen's hella dirty. If you are ever in LA, highly suggest that restaurant is called Tess. It's so good, you guys. Everything on the menu is so good. Everything is like very well paired, like genuinely compliments to the chef. Like the octopus has like a squid ink aioli that you kind of saw. Let me walk you through the dishes. The bread and butter. It's this beautiful like house made bread in this Norman Normandy, Normandy, Normandy butter. Oh, it's so good. I can literally eat the butter like it's ice cream. It's so fucking good. Then we got this artichoke thing that was on the happy hour menu that I've actually never had. That was the first time me trying the artichoke thing and it was really, really good. It was like in a sun-dried tomato, kind of olive oil, citrusy, smooth. It was good. I think it needed a third component, whether that would be like a nut or like a cheese. It was a little kind of I don't want to say bland because the flavor is there. It just, the dish itself, like as a whole, wasn't very complex, but the flavor was there. Then um, there was the truffle facility. So fucking good. It's totally, you could tell it's just made from scratch. You could taste, and like in the best way possible, you can taste the like real flour in the roux of the sauce. Oh, it's so good. This is really bugging me. Alex got the short rib and the sweet potato. So they used to do that dish in a way where the sweet potatoes were like cut up in chunks 
and they were just like set on the plate with the short rib but now they're pureed into like a mash with this like beautiful short rib you don't even need a knife to cut into it's so good and then the grilled octopus with chorizo and the squid ink aioli is just like just burnt to a the perfect char like burnt sounds bad but like the crisp the char is just impeccable even if you're not somebody who doesn't like octopus like the way they do it is so tasteful that like i promise you'd like it and then lastly we had the toffee cake which is like there's like dates in it too i think and it's just like not too sweet it's more of like a spiced cake it's very it's almost like holiday-y and then it has like vanilla ice cream on top and this beautiful caramel sauce oh my god it was so good first time we ever got it only feedback it needed flake salt i think every good dessert needs flake salt and it didn't have it and i feel like it actually would have like psychologically added four more dollars to the dish if there was flake salt on it it would have been like it would have came off so like luxurious to me but they didn't have that but it was still really good in conclusion i want to open a restaurant um i don't think i said this in the vlog but on monday i am actually gonna see a doctor and get like a full functional medicine scan of my body i'm gonna check like my thyroid and my hormones and my vitamin levels and my gut health my like microbiome levels i don't know if any of this interests you but i think it'd be a really cool process to vlog i don't want to get too much into it now because I've honestly been kind of overwhelmed by it, but my health is very important to me and my gut has been bugging me so much. So I just want to like get to the bottom of it. So I feel like I can totally vlog this process if this is something you guys would be interested in seeing. This eye cream, it says to put around your lips too. Don't know how I feel about that, but I'm going to go with what the label says. I guess that makes sense. I guess when you get older, you get like little crinkles right here. The other day I was talking to my mom. She was telling me about how she's getting more gray hair and she showed me. And I don't know if anybody's experienced this, but I had this like moment of like seeing my mom with gray hair. I was like, wait, she's getting older? Like what? This is really happening? <sighs> well, I'll leave you guys there. Have a good rest of your day, good rest of your week. Shameless plug, if you don't already listen, make sure you listen to Advice. It's the best thing in the world. I'm biased, but I think some people could agree. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.